Hello, my name is Joe and welcome to another edition of Joe's Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel where today I'm here to answer a question. What is Steam? Steam, if you've never heard of it, is an online software delivery service uh, primarily for video games but also for software in general and it's probably one of the best places to find video games for the PC platform. Now let's back up a bit. When I say PC, I'm not just talking about PCs that run Windows. Surprise, Macs are PCs too. Um, the term PC derives from the fact that you know they have you know x86 uh, instruction sets inside their processors uh, or AMD 64 instruction sets. Basically, anything that says Intel or AMD as the processor, those are PCs. And surprise, ever since uh, Mac OS 10, Apple kind of had to give up on all their failed processors, and now they use Intel chips like everybody else. And so, yeah. Macs are PCs, they just don't run Windows. And there are PCs that run Linux, uh, and so forth and so on. So, with that out of the way, um, this is the PC Gaming Channel, and there are games for everybody's platform, regardless of which operating system they um, like to play on. So you can click on Games, and you can see... Yeah, whoops, I have to keep it over it. So we've got Mac OS, we've got Linux, and then uh, you know the uh, Windows platform makes up the, the rest of this stuff here. Yeah, so um, yeah, they're they're building up in terms of their Linux games. They're probably in descending order: Windows games, Macs games, and uh, Linux. Although Linux is probably going to overtake the Macintosh platform very soon, uh, if it hasn't already. Now, currently, we have a summer sale going on on Steam, and this is what I really like about Steam: is that in the old days, I would buy all of my software on a disc or diskette. You know, so CDs, DVDs, now they're on Blu-rays, they come in a little box, got a little manual. Sometimes I go and I would buy used ones from, you know, some, you know, store and hope that the scratches weren't too deep, that it couldn't be read, and uh, I would take my chances in order to try and save a dollar or two. That is not a problem anymore with digital distribution. So with Steam, you basically just pick whatever game you want, download it, uh, after you pay for it, of course, and all of your saved games are saved up into the cloud. So I can go to another computer, log into Steam, and download my game again. So if I'm hanging out at a friend's house and for a week, um, I can download Steam uh, and download whichever games I want to play there and uh, have fun. And to give you an example of how much money you can save on Steam, oh, let's see, there's a game I've been waiting for. A game that a lot of people, um, they, uh, what is it, um, Oh, shoot, now I forget the uh, term everybody uses. <laughs> he turned on the camera, and of course these things happen. Um, pre-order, pre-order. I don't pre-order games anymore. I used to, and I've learned my lesson. And let me, let me give you an example of how harsh the lesson can be. Um, at the time of this recording, as you can see, the date is Friday, June 24th, 2016. Well, there's one little game involving demons and marines that I've been waiting for called Doom. Doom released last month, May 2016. And as you can predict, for a AAA title, it was $60. But in the Steam sale, it's $35. Yes, 40% off, and all I had to do was wait a month. So I was busy with other things, playing around with YouTube, you know going to their, their uh, you know, creator day and hanging out with other YouTube creators. And I told myself, I'll get Doom. I'll, I'll get Doom one of these days. Uh, well, that day is today. So here, let's go ahead and take advantage of this. Because uh, for this price, uh, this is definitely a, a game I'm adding to my cart. I was going to buy it at full price, but uh, I can't resist it with this sale. So let's see here. I'll say continue shopping. Uh, of course, they have other things to offer to me. And there are all kinds of other great games that are available. A Doom is available for those uh, console platforms, but it's not cheap. In fact, uh, let's give you an example of, again, money saved. I have a lot of friends who tell me, well, I prefer consoles because they're cheaper. So, well, let's see. Yes, the physical console will be cheaper, but your games will cost you more. I mean, like I said, this game just came out. So if I was on the Xbox One, here it is, 59 49 you know... So, yeah, it's not going to be that cheap, uh, and you have to get a little disc, and you got to wait for the stuff to show up. For me, I swipe my card on the internet, and I have Doom just as quickly as I can download it. Now, is the story any better for the PlayStation 4? So let's take a look there. Yeah. 
And the answer is... Oh, we're not going to show the prices on PlayStation 4? <laughs> well, here, let's see. Um, I was expecting it to show me something. Let's see, go to GameStop. And GameStop says... Whoa, 60 bucks. Oh, but you can buy a used one uh, for 47 Hope it's not scratched too badly um, for someone who may have uh, opened it up already. Plus, the PlayStation and Xbox One Doom is never going to look the way it will on this computer. I'm using a GeForce GTX 780, or not 780, what am I saying? Th that's the old one. <laughs> 980 Ti. So, Doom's going to look pretty snazzy on this computer. Um, so you pay a little bit more for PCs, but you end up getting discounts on all the games. Now, granted, these Steam sales don't come around every day, but most people who are on Steam for any length of time start to wait for the Steam sales. I mean, look at some of these games. Uh, here's here's one. If you ever want to play with me, you'll see it on this channel. There's lots of videos for Left 4 Dead 2. Notice it's $4. Basically, it's a first-person shooter uh, with uh, some little story elements, you know, and you can play cooperatively as you blast through hordes of zombies and try to survive the night. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's very cheap. Um, well, at least during the sale. So this will last until July 4th, 2016. So if you're seeing this video at some point in the future, don't worry. Steam sales will come back if you're patient. You know, you can pick it up, or you can get it at its regular price of, what, uh, $20? Eh, it's irresistible, though, at this price. <laughs> There's a lot of other good things. In fact, here, let's see. Uh, I've got a wish list of other things in my that I've been waiting for. Let's see if they're on sale. Rise, Son of Rome. This is another console title that was, uh, I think it debuted, um, whoa, may not be appropriate for all ages. Well, I, I guess I'll, I'll have to shield my, my poor, you know, uh, <laughs> impressionable little mind. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Oh, this is the store page. So here's the store page. Rise Son of Rome is five bucks. You know what? I'll go ahead and I'll add it. Now, if you're curious, uh, oh yeah, and as you can see, this one came out mm, 2014. So yeah, this one's been out for a couple of years, uh, but it was a very popular console title at the time. So let's see. If I was a console player, I mean, this game's been out for a little while. How cheap would it be? Let's, let's just uh, as an example. So here's another cross-platform game, and oh, are we not going to tell? Yeah, there we go. There are the prices. All right, 22, 10, 11, and these are you know you've got used games uh, mixed in here, so these are not necessarily new boxes that we're talking about. So it's going to cost twice as much, you know, extra five bucks. <laughs> You know, like I said, I'm, I'm getting it for $5. And you're going to have to roll the dice on whether or not you get a disc that will be readable, you know, whatever condition it happens to be in. And uh, so it's just cheaper. It is just cheaper. So that's what I tell my friends who, are, you know, poo-poo uh, PCs and say, well, the PCs are nice, but they're just too expensive. I said, mm, not really. You pay more for the PC overall. Um, you know, the actual hardware, but once you've got it, the games are all cheaper, and you can keep the same peripherals. Uh, that was one of the things that put me off of the Xbox. I had the original Xbox. I bought controllers for it, bought lots of games for it. I had little accessories, a headset, and then one day the Xbox died. And I thought, well, I'll go ahead and I'll move to the next Xbox. You know, let's move on to the 360. Oh, but you can't use the controllers you had, you know, not for any special reason, just because we want more money. Oh, and you can't use that headset. Oh, and you can't play any of the games that you invested in. And you're like, what the heck, man? Um, here, all the games that I've ever bought, I can still play. So, once I bought them, they're mine. I mean, everything from Pac-Man <laughs> all the way up to Rocket League. Rocket League is great, by the way. If you have the opportunity to... Uh, now, uh, pick up that game. In fact, here, let's go to the store page. Uh, I forget. There should be a link around here someplace. Where is the Rocket League store page? Oh, and they have a DLC. Oh, fooey. I forget where the store page is. Um, 
So Rocket League is currently... Yes, I know it's already in the library. Um, $12, so it's 40% off. This is a fun title because console players and PC players play together in the same arenas when they play together. So everybody gets in their cars and uh, they all get to play as one. Other games will segment off different groups and they'll say, well, if you bought it on console, you're only playing against console players. If you buy it on PC, you're only playing on against PC players. With Rocket League, everybody is in the same arena. Console, PC, doesn't matter. And in which OS uh, they play on doesn't matter either. So everyone jumps in the same. You can form different groups and teams. So play individually, play with your friends. Rocket League is hours and hours and hours of fun. Basically, the last time I played it with a friend of mine, uh, she and I basically played it until our, our hands hurt from, you know, fighting with the controllers because uh, we really got into it. So Rocket League is an absolutely, uh, you know, five-star recommendation. And if you'd like to game with me and we could be Steam friends, pick up Rocket League. Maybe you can jump in on one of the matches. We'd love to have you. Another good one that I'd like to recommend is God Mode. God Mode right now is going for $2.00. Only two dollars. Basically, it's a horde mode shoot 'em up. It's not very difficult. It's not very deep gameplay. Basically, you've ended up in Hades somehow. You've got weapons. There's ammunition scattered about. There's legions uh, from the underworld that are coming to kill you. Uh, I guess more. I mean, you're you're supposedly dead already, but I guess they're going to make you permanently dead. I, I don't know. <laughs> but for some reason, the the legions are coming to kill you again and you basically fight your way out of these various different mazes in the underworld and you can play cooperatively with a friend and like I said the game is two dollars um, it's a whole lot of fun four-player co-op is, is just crazy um, I haven't had the chance to do four-player yet but one little weird thing though all the lives that you have are in a pool so if you play with someone who's just kind of clumsy and gets killed a lot they're losing all of your lives so this makes it uh, even more interesting to play cooperatively and uh, be good at it otherwise that one guy that is not very good basically gets everybody else killed uh, <laughs> so you know, I would play and I would die one time and then the other guy would die and he would lose all the lives um, <laughs> There are all kinds of other great games that are on sale on Steam. These sales happen periodically, so it's a great way to take advantage of them. Like I said, the biggest advantage of Steam is, uh, for one thing, you never have to worry about, where's the disc? Oh, it's crashed. There goes my only copy. And, uh, you know, that used to be the, you know, uh, thing that made people sad back in the old days when you were allowed to back up your discs. Now with the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, uh, we can't even do that. So... You know, you have to just hope that nothing happens to it. Wow, even the controllers are on sale. Great. So they have hardware on sale as part of the Steam sale. Hmm, I might pick one up. Some people don't like this controller because it's a little unusual. Uh, but I've been curious to try one out and see what all the hubbub is about. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. I, I might end up uh, picking that up. Yeah, there are all kinds of uh, great... Uh, we can see what the top sellers are. Here, let's go ahead and expand this a little bit. Eh, no surprise. Grand Theft Auto, Fallout 4, which I've already got. But it's a whole lot cheaper right now. So if you haven't played Fallout 4 yet, you've been waiting for an opportunity, now is the time. Uh, Ark. Ark is a, a really good sandbox game with dinosaurs. Um, uh, it's kind of strange, but you can play it with other people. There's a whole bunch of videos of ARC here on this channel, which you're welcome to take a look at and see for yourself whether you'd like it. A um, little word of caution about uh, Grand Theft Auto V is that uh, Rockstar Games has mentioned that at some point they're planning on pulling the plug on this game, so once it's gone, it's gone. And I think that's kind of wrong, but because they're going to sell you a game, but it depends on their servers, and the moment they decide to unplug it, <laughs> that's all she wrote. Um, let's see. Yeah, Left 4 Dead, of course, is going to be up in there. Just Cause. I've never played this one. The Metal Gear Solids. Dark Souls 3. Everybody's on about that. Of course, they also, in the same breath, they're like, love Dark Souls 3, but oh, it drives me crazy. And you know, they've got veins 
popping out of their neck, and I was like, are, are you telling me that game is fun? Um, <laughs> it looks kind of frustrating for you. Um, all kinds of great sales. Ooh, I love this 75% off. All kinds of great stuff. So, how do you find Steam? You can just go to your favorite search engine and type Steam and you'll be able to find it and download the Steam client. Remember, there are lots of games on Steam that are free, so if you want to try out Steam without spending any money, you can always come up here and go free to play and just scroll through the list and see if you find something that tickles your fancy. Uh, one that I'd like to recommend for anybody who enjoys pinball is Pinball FX 2. This game is free. It comes with a free pinball table, and then if you want to have any other pinball tables that's what they do is they sell you the tables individually or as part of packs uh, as you can see they're not that expensive you know four dollars here for a bunch of tables you know um, there are some bundles uh, let's see they're even smaller there might be one where you buy them individually but uh, it's a lot of fun I mean the, the first table is free and if you want you can just play that table and never buy any of the others but Eh, they have Star Wars themed tables, and I'm a Star Wars fan, so eh, they fished me in right away, and I ended up buying all the Star Wars tables. <laughs> but I have no regrets. They're a lot of fun. If you'd like to see what Pinball FX 2 looks like, I've got some uh, gameplay of Pinball FX here on this channel that you're uh, welcome to take a look at. In fact, I'll, I'll provide uh, links to the playlists. So, Steam. Steam is very convenient, it's very easy to get software and uh, games, all your stuff gets backed up to the cloud, so if my computer completely died tomorrow, I wouldn't have to play my games over again, I could just re-download my save games right from Steam once I have a computer that works again. It's a big advantage. Ah, not to have to hassle with all those disks. Sure, you do have to be able to connect to the internet in order to play, because you're going to have to log into Steam, and this is an anti-piracy feature to make sure that uh, people aren't stealing the game, but yeah, the Steam client runs happily in the background, doesn't cause any problems, and uh, makes it possible for me to, you know, have access to all this software, sometimes at ridiculous prices, legally, so I don't have any, uh, you know, issues with uh, the way Steam works. Uh, for me, it's great. Oh, and if you put it on a laptop, it will allow you to play offline for a few days. Uh, I forget what the exact period is, but... Steam understands that sometimes we just can't get online. So, they'll let you play for a few days. You know, they won't let you go too long without logging into the internet to confirm that you're still, you know, authorized. Because they don't, you know, what they don't want, and I understand, is you don't want to go to your friend's house, download all your games, and say, there you go, there are the games for free, and then go home. Um, they want to force, you know, someone's got to log in and say, okay, I am this person with this game. By the way, don't show your account with anybody ever. Um, and uh, that way all these games are mine. You want to protect your account uh, and your information. Um, otherwise, uh, it would be sad for your big investment in gaming to go away. So let me know what you think of Steam. Have you given it a try? Are you planning on giving it a try? And what type of games do you enjoy? You know, action games, arcade games, first-person shooters, real-time strategy, uh, MMO RPGs, you'll find all of them on Steam. Oh, if you're curious, uh, MMORPG recommendations, uh, here's some good ones. Uh, Terra, which is free to play. Um, whoops. Star Trek Online, also good, free to play. Yeah. So, yeah, they have their own microtransactions inside the game, so they'll, they'll hit you up for money later. <laughs> With Star Trek, it was pretty easy. I, I loved the original series, and I got in, and they offered to sell me a Constitution-class uh, cruiser, and I was like, fine, take my money. Um, let's see, another good one that's here would be Rift. Uh, oh, not to be con uh, fused with Interstellar Rift. This is just regular Rift. So this is another... This one's very much a WoW clone. So if you like the, the feel of WoW gameplay... But you're just not feeling the love from Blizzard Entertainment anymore, and you're not really into the whole monthly fee thing, um, I do recommend Rift. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I, after I uh, originally uh, took a long hiatus from WoW, I played Rift for a couple of years, and I was not disappointed. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun in there. All right, let me know what you think of Steam. And I'll probably be downloading a whole bunch of games. Let's see whether or not my 
credit card company gets mad and turns my card off for spending too much on Steam again. You know, and they're trying to protect me. You know, they, they, they want to make sure someone didn't steal the card. But uh, look for some interesting videos from some new games that I'll be downloading as part of the Steam Summer Sale. See you next time here on Joe Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel. And let me know if you found anything that uh, whet your appetite in this video. See you next time.